Scotland, bulldozers at work clearing mud and rubble from the squelching streets bear grim testimony to the havoc of the 72-hour rainstorm which struck districts north of the border and parts of northern England. At New Milnes, Ayrshire, telltale marks on houses which bore the first shocks of the avalanche of water record the height reached by the swirling floods. One car was actually hurled into a garden a hundred yards away. Tarmac, two feet thick, was ripped open by the uprush of an underground stream after Scotland's worst rainstorm in living memory. Now an aerial view of the island of Haiti in the Caribbean. Here, the death row ran into three figures in the wake of Hurricane Hazel, the great tropical storm that went on to lash the eastern seaboard of North America. The hurricane, the eighth and worst of the season, then swept northwestwards through Toronto, Canada's second largest city, which bore the full brunt of the lashing wind and rain. Rivers broke their banks over a wide area, while many trapped householders were rescued from rooftops. The rich fruits of the land, which had just been harvested, were caught by the rampaging waters before they could reach market. Hurricane Hazel finally blew itself out in Hudson Bay, leaving behind over 3,000 miles of death and destruction, a costly and dreaded visitor 